Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kale and I am going to be talking about detoxing your emotions. You know, in the world today, EQ or emotional intelligence is a huge thing. Um, and let's talk a little bit about what that is. Emotional intelligence is the capability of in individuals to recognize their own emotions and those of others, discern between different feelings and label them appropriately. Use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior and manage and or adjust emotions to adapt to environment or achieve one's goal. That's emotional intelligence. So is emotional intelligence important? Absolutely. Uncontrolled emotions can damage or destroy a business, a relationship, a family, a loved one, a church, a job people, and many other things, right? So this is why God says, and the word of God says, walk in the spirit. When we walk in the spirit, we can control our emotions and we can experience the life that God has for us. Let's talk about three unhealthy emotions that we want to detox ourselves from. Number one, we want to detox worry. Worry is this, it, worry gives way to anxiety or unease, allows one's mind to dwell on difficulties or troubles, a state of anxiety and uncertainty over actual or potential problems. So it's not, it's not something that actually has happened yet. A lot of the time when we're worrying, it's something that can potentially happen. And because of something that can potentially happen, we begin to worry or have anxiety about it. Two facts about worry. This is what I call worry. It, it's faith that something bad will happen. That's one thing that I call worry. Worry can affect the body in many ways that may surprise you. When worry becomes excessive, it can lead to feelings of high anxiety and even cause you to get physically Ill. Philippians 4 and 6 through 7 it says this, and this is the NLT. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray. Do what? Pray about everything. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Tell God what you need. And I love this part. And thank him for what he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. I want to focus on one part. Well, well, two parts really. And these are remedies to worry. One, prayer. Prayer. The scripture says, don't worry. Pray. Tell God about it. He's listening. He's there. Tell him what you need. And then I love this other one. Thanksgiving. Thank him for what he has already done. I tell you what, being thankful, it goes a long ways with God. You see, when, when we worry and we begin to have anxiety and get stressed out, that's not an atmosphere for the presence of God. As a matter of fact, like I said, worry is reverse faith. We're believing not that God is going to do it. We're believing that bad is going to happen, that God is not going to do it. So, so what's happening is we're not bringing God into our atmosphere. We're actually pushing him away because we're not believing in him. But when we begin to be thankful, what happens is our thanksgiving, our praise, the scripture says that he inhabits the praises of Israel or his people. God begins to come in. And then this is what the scripture says. Then his peace that surpasses all understanding keeps us as we live in Christ Jesus. So prayer and thanksgiving, two great remedies for worry. The next thing that we want to detox ourselves from is anger. Detox yourself from ungodly anger. You know, the Bible says to be angry, but sin not. So be angry, but do not sin. What is anger? A strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. Here's some facts about anger. Anger can cause unhealthy outbursts, temper tantrums that can deeply hurt or wound the ones that you love. 
I just want to tell a story about um, about myself, about uh, when I got angry. This is some years back, and I, I remember um, that I got upset about something, and I had the remote to the, the the remote control to the TV in my hand, and I got so upset and so angry that I threw the remote on the ground and I broke and shattered the remote in pieces. Well, this was the problem, is that an hour later. I wanted to watch TV. <laughs> and so I, I, my anger turned into wrath, anger with action, and I threw the remote on the floor, broke it into pieces, and this is what happens. I wanted to enjoy my TV, but I couldn't. We're supposed to be enjoying relationships, and anger can cause us to break or wound or destroy relationships that we're really supposed to be enjoying. Right. Ephesians 4 and uh, 26, it says this. It says, and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry for anger gives foothold to the devil, gives a foothold to the devil. This word foothold, what it means is a secure position for which further progress can be made. The devil wants to make further progress of sin. Remember, sin, it, we can be angry, but don't sin. When does it become sin? When anger becomes wrath, action behind the anger. So you know what the devil wants to do? Anger gives a foothold to the devil. And what he wants to do is bring further progress to that anger. He wants you to break your own stuff like I did, right? He wants you to say words that are hurtful to your loved ones. He wants to bring progress to destruction, the, 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 the scripture says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to bring progress to death through your anger. Super important, we have to be careful. Galatians 5 and 16, it says this, this is a great remedy to anger. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. What is one of the lusts of the flesh? You'll read down in Galatians, well, it's wrath. Anger with action behind it. If we walk in the spirit, we won't fulfill that anger. Let's detox ourselves from anger. The last thing that we want to detox ourselves from, this is a huge one as well, is unforgiveness. Here's some facts about unforgiveness. We are the main ones who suffer from our unforgiveness. If we don't forgive others, this is huge. God will not forgive us. I love this. It doesn't matter how bad the thing is that the person or persons have done to us. We have to forgive them, set them free so that we ourselves can experience God's full freedom. Right. I remember uh, uh, when I was younger, some things were done to me by somebody that really caused me to be wounded and, and really have unforgiveness in my heart, even after I was a Christian. I used to have dreams about bashing this person's face in. And I, you know, I became a Christian, but I was not experiencing God's full freedom because I had this unforgiveness in my heart. I had to actually get prayed for and I had to release it. I had to let them go. I had to free that person so that I myself can experience God's full freedom. It's so important. Matthew 6 and 14 through 15, it says this. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your father will not forgive you. This is very important. We must forgive and release others. Detox ourselves of unforgiveness so that we can experience God's forgiveness and God's full plan for our life. One major fact about our emotions, believers have the power to control our emotions. This is, this is amazing. You know, we talked about some, uh, some emotions that we need to detox from, but this is the truth. We have the power to overcome, to detox ourselves of those negative or unhealthy emotions. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead, Holy Spirit, lives in every believer. This is good news. 
Romans 8 and 11, it says this, the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. He lives in me. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same spirit living within you. And so as believers, we have the power, we have the ability, we have God's Holy Spirit living in us that can help us to get rid of any negative emotion. So let's make a choice today to detox ourselves of any unhealthy emotion that will stop us from living the fulfilled life that God has for us. God bless you.